Hello YouTube, this is Nerd Rides and we are back with the Mercedes E-Class T model all terrain model year 2019 and this time we are in the car I'm on the road and the drive pilot is activated um, what's the drive pilot? The drive pilot is the autonomous driving mode of the E-Class and it's capable of driving let's say steering left right accelerating braking the car automatically using the radar sensor uh, behind the central star that I've shown in the last video which is capable of being heated so no problem in the winter uh, hopefully compared to the Passat B8 I had before and the system is also provided with information from two cameras up here so left and right left and right and uh, yeah those cameras are filming the road ahead and they are picking up the the lines of the lanes and they are also capable of noticing structures like uh, the rails along the 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 expressway and also are able to to notice or to see the cars uh, which we are following and uh, yeah, make the car let's say swim uh, in a swarm um, of cars or follow the, at least the car in front of us if there are no lines the system will um, warn you every let's say at least 30 seconds that you shall please put your fingers or hands back on the steering wheel you can either yeah, steer give it a little steering impulse or it's also sufficient to just press a button on the steering wheel or those uh, touch pads for example how do you activate the system um, first of all you uh, have to press the button in the middle right there which enables the drive pilot and then you will have to push the set button right here to set the speed and if you have braked and the system is deactivated on standby then you can resume pushing this lever upward and with this um, lever you can adjust the distance you want to have um, to your car uh, in front so four levels very close and uh, the furthest away so and uh, yeah this is a quick video on this drive pilot in this case in a uh, let's say construction site or s speed limited situation we have 80 kilometers per hour we have uh, several lines on the street we have the normal white lines and we have yellow lines from the construction and all I do is, yeah, I touch the touchpad and uh, the car drives its own. And so far it's working very nice, but uh, we have seen uh, a lot of situations where it does not work that far, uh, not that good. So don't trust the system to drive autonomously in uh, those situations. This situation or this system is it's not um, it has not been developed to to drive you um, automatically autonomously from A to B hundred uh, percent so there are still system limits and the very interesting thing is what are those limits and why why doesn't it work in certain situations so far not a problem um, but there are situations where you might think uh, hey not a problem this system the drive pilot will handle this accordingly and will stay in the lane there are situations where you don't have any sharp bends or curves and the system will say hey take over um, I cannot handle the situation so sometimes surprising um, yeah surprising moments but so far it's uh, doing pretty well so I'll be waiting for a moment um, yeah, where it's not working and I'll come back then
okay now this was a situation where the bend or the curve was too strong the system couldn't handle it it couldn't steer to the right it would have left the lane to the left so this is one example for situations where the system tells you to take over so this is still a system where you have to yeah keep your hands on the steering wheel and yeah not uh, activate the the drive pilot and climb uh, uh, into the back of the car and uh, sleep or read a book or whatever <laughs> this is the future and this is coming uh, i'm i'm pretty sure but right now the system is uh, limited so this was one example and yeah we just want to see what are the limits of those systems because autonomous driving is a polarizing topic many people uh, like i say hey this relieves me from stress while driving i'm uh, way more uh, say relaxed when i reach my goal of, um, of my trip and others say hey, this is devilish stuff this is magic whatever um, I don't trust it, it's not developed enough, it's not mature enough and uh, yeah, it's unsafe. And in some regard they are right, but from my perspective this is not uh, a reason to just not use it. It's just a, a way of educating the people and knowing what are the limits of the system uh, to, to use it wisely and to use it for your comfort. And yeah, that's why I'm uh, filming this stuff. So. Please uh, comment down below if you like the video. What are your thoughts on autonomous driving? Um, give me a hint on what uh, do you want to see next. Um, there is a speed uh, limit uh, test coming up. So how can the drive pilot uh, handle situations where we drive 210 kilometers, which is the maximum speed limit for the drive pilot, and does it still? Uh, is it still able to break you down from 210 kilometers if someone pulls out or someone is way slower in front of you? So this, those are interesting tests and uh, this is very good for yeah, using those systems uh, in the reality or on the road. Uh, what are the limits and what are, are they capable of uh, exactly? Uh, and also um, compared to the Passat B8, for example, which has not a bad uh, let's say autonomous driving mode uh, I was very satisfied and we'll check out if the Mercedes E-Class uh, is better so please give me a thumbs up if you like this video please subscribe if you want to see more like this like the speed limit video which is coming up and please yeah, make suggestions for other videos what do you want to see when do, do you want to see a video on the on the cockpit on the navigation system on the command online whatever you're interested in just uh, give me a short post and uh, I'll make it possible. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you later. Bye bye.